angry at humanity. These are normal emotions, okay? You get them a lot as an activist, as a vegan. You've woken up in a nightmare, and now we all feel compelled to try to help change that. And we can. So I don't want anyone for one second to feel helpless. Uh, helpless to the point where you're like, what I do won't matter. So what, what am I gonna do to change the world? People will try to tell you that. You know, one person can't change anything. If I thought that, then I would never have got where I am today with influencing people to change their lifestyle, influencing vegans to become active, if I had that attitude. So never have that attitude. Every single individual here has the potential to make massive waves. But you need to believe that that's possible within yourself first. So be confident on that. Be confident on, on that, because we are making you know, massive changes on Earth. It's happening right now. Okay, good morning everyone. I just woke up. It's about five in the morning and we're getting picked up soon to go to a vigil. I just thought I'd show you how I live out a suitcase when I'm traveling. So this is all my stuff here. This is the work zone over here. All of the stuff. And we gotta get up, we gotta pack all of this and then we gotta go we're doing a surprise kind of vigil with Legion in Sydney here. I've got a bunch of computer work we've got to do and then we've got to hop on a plane and we've got to fly to Brisbane for the Dominion screenings in Queensland. Let's do it. People say to me, oh Joey, you know, like bearing witness at a slaughterhouse standing out the front there with a sign, what's that going to do? You're not going to change the world like that. That's not effective adv advocacy. That might have been true 25, 30 years ago when we didn't have these things called iPhones. Okay, so here we are with Legion DX Sydney. We're at the front of a big slaughterhouse here, chicken slaughterhouse. They kill nearly half a million chickens here a week. And we're here to bear witness to the animals before they go in. Let's do it. Yeah, so this particular truck driver wasn't very cooperative and he was very angry and beeping a lot and they let him go through. It's just the luck of the draw what the truck driver's gonna react like. Broken legs, broken wings, really young, abused. One of the most abused animals on earth. Not like it's not that it's a competition or anything, but they are abused, like not thrown into the back of the truck like they're nothing. That's illegal. We'll talk to the police. No, the police will come and then... And Excuse me, turn that off. It's a public place, man. You're allowed to film. Our property. Turn it off. Get off my property. Get off the property. Get off the property. Please. Yeah, he can tell you to do that, but there's a little bit of uh, friction happening at the moment. Obviously, they're a little bit anxious about having so many people at the front of this slaughterhouse, but they're killing a lot of animals here. A lot. So the eyes should be on their slaughterhouse because they're murdering innocent beings in there. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good to be back in my home country. I've been traveling around doing a lot of this sort of stuff. Been pretty well received. And obviously when you're trying to create change, there's some discomfort associated with that. So you can, you know, get some negative responses as well. But that just means, you know, you're reaching the audience that you need to. Very dangerous what he's doing right now. They won't let us stop the truck. He's driving in very fast. Very dangerous. The first is perspective. Okay, and that is what the SAVE movement gives you. That is what Bearing Witness gives you. That is what watching films like Dominion gives you. Bang, perspective, oh my God. That's right, that's who it's about. That poor cow trying to, struggling to get out of the knock box and the only mercy they get shown is a bolt gun to the head. That is who this is about. Perspective, you know, all those, those nerves. You know, oh, I feel a bit nervous about this. I don't know, I, I don't know, I, don't, I feel a bit uncomfortable, a bit nervous. Bang, straight into perspective when you think of the animals or when you bear witness. Do you believe that everyone is vegan at heart? I believe human beings are not meant to murder and eat animal bodies. I just don't think that that's a natural thing. I think that we are naturally herbivores. I think the sight of an animal being gunned down, murdered, gas chambered, 
sliced across the throat makes human beings across the board feel ill unless they are conditioned to the violence, which is a different story. So this was filmed in Australia, all of this footage. This is all Australian footage, yeah. Do you live in Australia? Okay. Does that look humane to you? Does that look humane to you? That our conscience is that of a vegan. You know, no one likes to see animals be hurt, abused, mistreated, stabbed to death, or killed. When, as they hatch, they're separated. So the boys, boys and the the girls are separated and the boys are all minced up alive in a macerator so they're killed on their first day of life. The girls will go on to lay eggs. Um, I don't think we have killer instincts human beings. I think that um, we are trained as a child to do things that are evil. When they can't lay eggs anymore they're all killed for their body so the flesh that you eat could come from an egg laying hen that's been used for her body her whole life. Um, yeah, free range eggs are the same, organic eggs are the same. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think of that? It's really bad. It's bad? It's yeah. Really bad. You say words like slavery and holocaust a lot, which isn't really socially or like culturally appropriate to use for issues like these. So yeah. what do you have to say about that? I think if you replace humans with cows and you chain them up and exploit them for their bodies, it's still slavery. So I think if you take humans out of gas chambers and put pigs into gas chambers, chambers it's still a holocaust. Do you know much about dairy? Kinda, so I'm a vegetarian, so like I inform myself about meat production. But not dairy and eggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's com pretty common. So dairy industry basically, all those dairy cows, yeah. they go straight to the beef industry. Yeah. So all of the dairy cows. So basically the dairy industry is the meat yeah. industry. Yeah. yeah. Except there's more suffering in the dairy industry because they take all of their children away from them. Okay? After one to three days, the children are stolen from them. And they bellow out for days for their children. It's, it's horrible. If they are born male, the dairy industry has no use for them. Yeah, okay? true. So they can be hit with a hammer on the first day of life to kill them. Or they can be grown a little bit older for veal and they'll be sent off. Yeah. No one has come to me with an argument that um, shows why that isn't the same thing. They, they just say, oh no, but because we're humans. So because we're a different species, that means that an injustice towards us should be called something different. No, if you rape a cow, you violate them against their will, that is still rape. Just yeah. because the victim's different, the action is the same. Now the females will suffer the same fate as their mother, which is, you know, they get forcibly yeah, impregnated. Sure. You know how, how they forcibly impregnate cows. Yeah. Horrible experience, they're only about a year old when they do this. So they, when they have their child, it take, gets taken away, they get take, their milk gets taken from them. It's a circle of continuous forcible yeah. impregnation, child kidnap. And then when they're spent, meaning they, they can't provide the farmer with enough product, they've suffered this maternal trauma their whole life. They go to straight to the slaughterhouse, bolt gun, knife across the throat, chopped up into pieces. They go out to the street, they see you out there. You're on, you've decided to go to AV that day. You're like, I've watched Dominion, I've had enough, I'm gonna go speak up for animals. Boom, you're on outreach that day, that day, they walk up, see what's going on on the screens, and they go, oh my God, they have a conversation with you, and they're like, yep, I'm definitely gonna sign up Challenge 22. Challenge 22 on Facebook? Don't hurt animals this way. No animal cruelty, vegan challenge. This is free on Facebook, Challenge 22. Yeah. Do a vegan challenge where you don't contribute to animals being killed or harmed. Any way that we're using animals, we're killing them for the, like. I am a vegetarian myself. Yeah. So eggs and dairy are part of a vegetarian diet. So this is about veganism. So vegetarian diets are- We, done, we do the dairy. Yeah, yeah. So dairy cows are all slaughtered for their body. Their children are slaughtered. Uh, all the egg, egg laying hens are slaughtered. So. With a vegan lifestyle, you can completely avoid any animals being slaughtered on your behalf or used for their bodies. So you can be pretty confident that when you're, you're eating, not hurting anyone and you're, not you're trying your best not to hurt anyone deliberately. That's a good thought. Yeah, and it's really easy too. Like we've got this website called Challenge Twenty Two, 
and it's completely free. So you can imagine why we're out showing this to people. Yeah, yeah. of course. No, I think. Do it's you know good what the goal, goal is of this? That, that people start thinking about what they're eating yeah. and maybe like change their behavior. Exactly. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Yeah, and I think it's really good that you're doing because like so many people are just ignoring it. So well, they're not. A lot of people just don't know. Yeah, yeah, they're not aware of it. That's true. A lot of people go vegetarian for ethics. They think, oh, the meat industry is where it's at. Yeah. They don't realize that all these other they're all connected. That's they're true. All, it's all the same industry. All the same system. Everyone's doing something which is amazing, and it's huge here in Australia we need everyone standing up yeah. so when you buy milk when you buy cheese you're saying that that's okay that, that's yeah. it's okay to, you know, you're basically funding it yeah. without us the dairy farmers will do something else true yeah, yeah. So, that's right that. thank awesome. you <laughs> no worries. don't stop keep fighting keep up the amazing work thank you yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're taught that some species matter less and some species matter more. We're taught that some races matter less, some races matter more. We're taught that women matter less or, and, or straight people matter more. We're taught all these things. You, you give a child a blank canvas and show them a rabbit and a chicken, they think they're equally cute and equally want to play with them and think they deserve equal respect and treatment. Okay, so here we are at Sydney Airport. We're getting ready to fly off to Brisbane. All the activists in Sydney are doing amazing work. They've all evolved so much since the last time I've seen them. And the next stop is Queensland. Or something like that. But rarely do you see like these gentle, innocent, adolescent animals fight back. That's why they're so easily dominated, you know? And it's, it's so sad to see. This is why, you know, we need to inspire vegans to be activists. I don't think ever before, in the history of the movement. I mean, it might have happened, but not on the scale that's happening now. Have we had other activists training, inspiring um, other vegans on how and why it's important to be active? So that's, we've, we've got, we've got the vegans already. If we didn't convert anyone and we just got every vegan to be active and then we went out and we would reach a tipping point like that.